today is the third session of this training, FCCS training, and uh, what you see highlighted in yellow uh, are the topics that we have covered on day one and day two. Uh, most of it has been covered. We also touched upon some aspect of consolidation, elimination, and translation uh, during last week's session. Okay, but we will discuss about that tomorrow. So today we are going to cover the topics that are highlighted in green. Uh, I will start with some of the uh, foundational aspects such as security, um, audit log, migration utility, okay, and then we will quickly go on to data management. Then there is a independent module called financial close management module and, and a similar module called supplemental data management module. We will try to cover both of them today. So working with smart view, uh, so we, we, we stopped uh, at the smart view uh, session last week. So we will start from security management. All right, so security management, uh, a, a very w a simple way to uh, remember how security manage, security is managed in FCCS is by remembering that there are three le levels of access. Uh, the first level is uh, there are roles that you can assign to users. Uh, once you assign the roles, they get uh, a certain set of function uh, access roles by default. We will shortly discuss about what those roles are. Uh, two is artifact level access. After you give a role to a user, you can specify whether that user can access an artifact or not. And when I say artifact, it could be a task, it could be a, a data form. If you remember in, in the last session, we created some data form. When I say artifacts, it could be, you know, uh, a, a process approval, it could be a, a data form. Uh, these are all artifacts. You can prevent a user from accessing a data form, right? How? By using artifact level security. And the third level of security is uh, data access. You can prevent a user, uh, you, you can give two users access to a data form, but you can prevent one of those users from writing to a specific entity or a specific uh, scenario, right? So that is possible. So that is a very simple way of remembering how security uh, is managed. All right, so let's quickly go through the four slides I have uh, with regards to security. Uh, security is managed through the multi-layered approach that I just said. Uh, for, for you know, if you are purchasing FCCS from Oracle and if you are not using the demo environment that we are using for the purpose of this training, you will get access to uh, something called as Oracle Cloud My Services and in that service, you will be given, uh, the, the moment you purchase, you will be given the role of an identity domain administrator. And if I'm not wrong, per purchase, only one person will be given this identity domain administrator. This is the person who can log in, create users, and give access to the users to the FCCS application. If you have purchased multiple subscriptions like PBCS, FCCS, Still, there will only be one identity domain administrator. Uh, the same users that this uh, a domain administrator created can be provisioned to more subscriptions like FCCS, PBCS, and ARCS. So what happens when you purchase an enterprise license is you get access to one identity domain. Uh, you will be having one, one user who is provisioned as identity domain administrator that user will log in to Oracle Cloud My Services. It will look similar to the screenshot that you see on the screen. You will be able to create users, you will be able to upload users, and then provision those users to one or more of those subscriptions. Okay, so that is possible. And when you are provisioning them, uh, how do you provision? You provision by giving them uh, roles. Right, and uh, the roles uh, typically are, uh, are are the four roles that you see uh, on the screen. Uh, it is called service administrator, power user, user, and viewer. There are just four predefined roles. And how do you um, give them? You give them while creating the user itself, like you see on the screenshot. When you are creating the user, you can select the available uh, roles and assign them. 
uh, if you have multiple subscriptions obviously you will see a lot more roles uh, respective to those subscription so what happens when you make a user as a service administrator he will be able to perform all oracle financial consolidation and close functional activities including granting roles to users power user uh, will not have all the um, uh, access that a service administrator has he will still be able to view and interact with data he will be responsible for maintaining forms he will have access to uh, the consolidation form where you can kick off a consolidation he will also be able to define something called as the approval process he will also be able to access the data management module a uh, user uh, user will be able to input data he will be able to manage journals he will be able to analyze data using smart view and what not data management access if application role is given so uh, there is another way where you can give some additional roles even even though at an at a tenant level at an application level you have, you you have given the uh, a domain role called user to a user there are some other granular roles that you can give to this uh, user so using that you can control access to the data management module which is the management to which is the module to load data from uh, erp and then the fourth role is called viewer uh, it's a very basic role he will only be able to view tasks view data uh, very limited role okay so these are the four broad roles that you can give and like i said once you give one of these four roles uh, there is a, another level of uh, artif not not artifact i would say this is feature level role so what you see on the screen is what i'm talking about uh, ad hoc grid creator ad hoc read only user so typically this is used to give some additional roles to a user who has been provisioned the role of a user why uh, because the, the things that he can do with that role is limited uh, so you can go ahead within the application how you go to uh, you you navigate to this particular uh, card called as access control you go to application and then access control you select the user and you give this granular roles okay to further enhance access privileges uh, an example is administrating process unit approval to users with user role right so a power user will have this by default but a user who is having the user role will not be able to administrate process unit uh, we can do this by uh, uh, provisioning this granular roles okay so this is a uh, step 4 and and step 5 is assigning artifacts uh, like I just said, um, uh, let's take the case of forms because this is um, uh, this artifact level access is most commonly used for data forms. So uh, on the data form screen, you can select a particular data form like what you see on the screen, and then you can click on this uh, key icon. Right? You see a small icon over here, which is uh, a user uh -huh. with a key. Once you click that, you will get this particular screen where you can say that I as a service administrator have created this form I as a power user have created this form but only Frank Taylor should be able to access this form not others right so that is called artifact level access uh, that is very much possible and the last thing is called the data access right so data access is uh, basically controlling the segment combinations to which a person can write data uh, to which he can only view data or he can not write nor view data so that level of control you can do uh, in FCCS by default you can assign a data access for four dimensions one is uh, scenario entity uh, data source and account so these are the only four dimensions among the 13 available dimensions where you can apply security at a member level for example you have two entities one is germany entity and one is netherlands entity you can ensure that uh, one user is only able to write data to germany entity 
but only view data for Netherlands entity. So that is called a data access. You can specify the segment combinations to which a user can write, read or do nothing for that segment combination. So in summary, uh, in, in summary there are three layers of uh, security management. One is called the system role. Uh, you can assign system roles to users. There are four predefined roles and you have to assign one of those four predefined roles to users. The second layer of security is called artifact access uh, and a typical example of that is giving access to a data form. You can specify whether a user has access to a form or not. And the third level and the most granular level of security is called data access. And by default in FCCS you can specify data access at a security, entity, account and data source dimension. If a user has the right access on, on say actual scenario but he has only uh, read access on Germany entity, the least applicable access gets uh, controls what he can do on that segment combination. Thank <music> you.